If your pregame ritual starts the night before the game or on the way to the game, you, my friends, are missing out. This video is for you. Let's go. Your pregame ritual should act like a laser beam pointed directly at your next game. If the only time you spend thinking and preparing for your next game is the night before, you've missed out on a whole lot of opportunities. At the top level, your pregame ritual starts the second you finish your last game. Last game ends, boom. The next thing you should be thinking about, what can I do to make the next game perfect? It's immediately recovery. From Holland eating raw liver to Ronaldo putting himself in sub-zero temperatures, Rooney sleeping in a high altitude bedroom, clearly something matters about all of these things. And for you, you don't need to go to that extreme, but you do need to care. Some of you guys wouldn't stretch to save your lives. And while it's clear the benefits of foam rolling, yoga, active and dynamic stretching will do wonders for you. The, the question you have to be asking yourself is, why are you not doing it? The answer is you are probably most likely unaware of the direct correlation between recovery and banging in goals. Start doing it. Day two, analyze your game. What pros do when they come back after their recovery and their day off is analyze what they did wrong in their last game. What are we looking for? Mistakes. Not the mistakes you're thinking. I don't care if you make a bad pass here. I don't care if you don't track back once, all right? I don't care if you miss a simple opportunity in front of goal, even an open net. What we're looking for are habits. Do you have the habit of missing an open net? Do you have the habit of not tracking back? Do you have the habit of making and pissing the ball away when our team is trying to keep the ball? Those are the things you have to fix. What your pregame ritual is, an attempt to correct everything you did wrong in your last game and move it towards the next game. Analyzing your game is day two and day three of your pregame ritual. Everything has the next game in mind. This is actually your pregame ritual. And obviously, analyzing a game and looking at your mistakes is not as fun as it is to look at all the great things that you did, which you should look at too. You don't want to get too bogged down by the negative, but it's important. And now, we can move on to the fun stuff. Yum, yum. Now, we're three to four days away from the game. What else do we need to be worried about? our food. And while we can't make an entire video right now about what it is you should be eating, you have to know about carbo loading, whether or not you're going to get high fat, making sure you're getting the good proteins in. What you eat from these days right here matters. So start to take your food seriously. Obviously, it matters all the time. You should always be eating well or to the best that you can. But it matters a whole lot. You're preparing for that next game. Start to get your sleep, right? Three days, four days before, you have to get good sleep in. Try to get some sort of routine in your game. And the next thing is your visualization, the things that you're thinking about. Some guys have major anxiety before a game because right before the game starts, they change everything. They change everything in their, in their entire routine and they start to worry about, oh my God, all right, the game is coming, I'm gonna listen to music, I'm gonna thoroughly get, my, and then boom, this game happens and everything's scattered and all this stuff is crazy. Instead of having a scattered mind while you're, you're trying to figure out right before the game how you're gonna get focused and stuff, start three to four days before. The truth is, is that after each training, before bed, in the morning, you can actually take 15 minutes to act like you're about to play that game. And you know exactly what happens. What you practice, right, gives you your habits. And if you practice, like I'm getting ready to play this game, this is what's gonna happen, how I'm gonna do, this is what it feels like to score, make a tackle, make a save, score a PK, win the game. If you practice and start to put yourself in that mind frame before the game, three to four days before, constantly and consistently, watch what happens when the actual game comes. It'll be like nothing, right? But the problem is you practice your pre-game ritual once for 15 minutes on the car ride from house and mommy drives you there and you go yeah mom, i'm gonna score some goals today and it's gonna be great and i'm gonna do this and you get in the game <laughs> yeah right because for 15 minutes once a week you prepare for the game that's not enough real pros know that it's a lifelong journey it's a week-long journey and if you actually want to make your pre-game ritual well days three four five and six have to be like that right until the whistle starts quick thing i forgot about my friends do not turn your pregame ritual into a superstition. It's fine for you to have a routine, but if you don't do the same things that you normally would do, you don't want that to be a crutch. You don't want to figure out in the middle of a game that you forgot to bless your foot before the game with the holy water, 
right? And then you're gonna play like We don't want that. Always make sure that you have a good routine, but remember, the real juice, my friends, comes from within. That's the vid, my friends. Can I get a ball? Can I? But... Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Check out everything from us here at Unisport right down below in the description box. We, my friends, will see you later. No crossbar today. Wait, can you see that little green fence over there? You guys see that green fence? Check this out. Green fence bar. God damn.